Okay, welcome to the first video of the Just 5 Gunnery series. Backseat Gunnery, the theory. Now this is a pretty mathematical and uh, physics intensive presentation. Uh, there's no in-game footage, it's just a PowerPoint. So it may not be your cup of tea. Uh, if at any time you're watching this and you're saying uh, you know what I'm this just isn't clicking and not making a lick of sense that's okay just go on to the next video backseat gunnery let's get practical um, my intention with this is simply to provide for those who want it uh, an explanation theoretically of why exactly it's different to shoot a gun in the backseat of a plane than to shoot it up front in like a fighter. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I do play one occasionally. You know, I, I get these pilots that they, they come up to me and they they sit down on my couch and I get out my little pen and paper and, and well, not really, but yeah. You know, they ask me, I'm a good fighter pilot, but Matthias, I can't seem to hit a thing when I get in that gunner's position. Is there something I'm doing wrong? Why is it so hard? It just doesn't make sense. Well, you're maybe the best aimer when it comes to being in that cockpit. But when you're in the rear seat or in the, you know, front gunner's position of a you know multi-seater plane what's different uh, is that physics is throwing you for a loop there's some extra vectors that come into play when the gun is not always aligned with the axis of travel of the plane and so physics is throwing you these extra vectors and laughing because you're not used to dealing with them. And so it messes up your aim. So why isn't shooting just shooting? What is it with new vectors just because I change the position and direction of the gun that's firing? Well, if you think about how a fighter is set up, Remember that with your wing and your nose-mounted machine guns, they're always aligned with the direction your plane is flying. Okay, so your X direction, your horizontal movement, is always the same as your plane. There's never any variation between the two. They're always equal. So if a plane does one thing, your gun does the same thing. That's not the case with a turret or an overwing mount like the Lewis gun or the Becker 20mm. Uh, the machine guns point partially or totally in a direction other than X, and therefore, uh, because of that, as your muzzle of your gun is doing one thing, your plane, relative to that, can be doing something entirely different in terms of direction of motion and that will counteract or interfere with your own aim as you go. Now in the Fliegerschul, uh, if you remember, there was an entire video on the basics of shooting and how that works. I'm going to go over it again in a little different format because I want to make sure that you can understand the basics before we move on to some more advanced uh, concepts. Here, okay, kinetic energy of a bullet is equal to the force of the bullet times the distance the bullet flies. Or, also it's equal to one half times the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet squared. Now, what is distance? Well, distance, very simply put, is the distance from one point to another. Okay? Now, as we're 
talking about this relative to the plane, if the plane itself is zero, if that's the origin of the bullet, then the distance the bullet travels from the plane is, you know, whatever distance minus zero, which is the distance. AA circular logic. The reason I'm I'm giving you that is just so nobody comes back later and say, well, where does D come in? Where does distance come in? We've got it. We've got positions. We've got an axis. Now, uh, velocity is simply the distance over time. And if we take all that and then we kind of break this down a little bit, you'll see that the way the equation plays out, as time increases, this side of the equation is going to decrease, right? Because time is a denominator. Now, what does that mean for this side of the equation? That means that because force up here is a non-constant, but the distance relative to this distance will always be the same amount, and mass is a constant, that as time increases, force must decrease. Now, what am I saying? Quite simply, I'm saying that as a bullet travels farther, the, f the force, the energy behind the bu bullet lessens. Yes, I went through all that math just to prove that. Why? Because now we're going to talk about how that force changes relative to the different axes of travel of a bullet. Okay, so if we're assuming right now that, it, you know, I'm behind that poor little spat up there uh, in level flight. Let's say he's not even moving. I'm the only one moving. He's parked or something. Uh, then what we're saying is that if I put my crosshairs on him, even though I've got a direct horizontal line of sight, the bullet has to travel a parabolic arc to reach him. That's just the way it works because the bullet has to deal with gravity. A simple concept. We're not even talking about, you know, moving left or right. We're just talking about level. So we can break the components of that parabolic flight of the bullet into two axes, the x and the y direction. Y being vertical, x being forward horizontal. So if we're going to play the game of, you know, matching the forces and making a balanced equation, then the force of the bullet coming out of the gun plus the force provided by the plane moving forward minus the air resistance times the distance the bullet travels, uh, which, by the way, if we were really doing serious aeronautical uh, calculations, air resistance isn't a constant. It actually increases as uh, speed goes up which is why planes had uh, so much trouble getting over the sound barrier or, you know, multiples of the sound barrier. Anyway, uh, it's not really relevant, and who cares? We're not using numbers, so we don't need to be exact. Uh, that equals the kinetic energy of the bullet in the x direction. Now, in the y direction, force of gravity is a constant. It's always pulling down at 9.81 meters per second. So the kinetic energy of the bullet is equal to the force of gravity times the distance gravity's pulled the bullet. So again, all that math, what are we trying to get out of it? We're simply saying that, okay, as I shoot my bullet, the longer it flies, the slower it's going to go forward, and the more component of its direction is going to go down. 